Suspected Israeli extremists have torched a Palestinian mosque in the West Bank and left Hebrew graffiti at the site. Jibreen al-Bakri, governor of the Bethlehem region, says the mosque in the village of Jaba near Bethlehem was set alight at dawn today, damaging the mosque walls and carpeted floor. The Israeli army said it was investigating. A wave of bomb attacks around Baghdad killed 37 people and wounded dozens more yesterday. There was no immediate claim of responsibility for the attacks, which come as Iraqi security forces battle Islamic State fighters who control large areas of North and West Iraq. Aerial video released by the Nigerian military appears to show an operation against the Boko Haram group. According to information released at the time of the video, Nigerian Air Force and ground troops took part in coordinated operations in the country's northeast states. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu contradicted Mossad in 2012 at the UN General Assembly when he said that Iran was 70% of the way to completing a nuclear weapon. Cables from Mossad, now leaked to the media, state that Iran was not performing the activity necessary to produce weapons. A Japanese anti-Ebola drug being tested in Guinea should be made available across West Africa after initial trials showed it halved mortality rates in some patients. Alliance for International Medical Action, which ran the trials in Guinea, said mortality rates fell significantly in patients with a low to moderate Ebola count.